Today I'm going to show you how to make a shape with the pen tool and then we're going to make it a selection. And this is really good for logos that need generic shapes and generic shapes in general that you need to make and do not come already uh, equipped in Photoshop. So we're going to make our first point and we go over to the pen tool and you can also hit P on your keyboard and we're going to make our first point. So if we want to make a curve with this pen tool, which is what it is pretty much known for, we can make another point, but as we make another point, we want to keep holding down our mouse and dragging it to make a curve. And you will see that you will get these little antlers that you can move around. So one thing that makes the pen tool kind of difficult in Photoshop is that you can't just click it and move the dot to where you want it to be. If you want to change this original dot instead of just these little antlers that come off of it, you need to hold the command key on the Mac and drag it to where you want your dot to go. So instead of having it here, we want it down here now. And now we want to change these little antlers and we can't just click on these antlers because that makes a new dot, so we have to undo that. We have to hit the Option key on the Mac, and it'll give us the um, option to move this curve and change the how big this curve is. So now that we want, now that we have this curve that we like, we want to change um, another dot. Like we want to put another dot over here. And we can't just click this again because that just gives us this other little antler. So we need to hit command and click this dot again. And then we can make another dot after clicking. So after that, I'm going to undo that. We have this dot here and we want to make another dot over here. We hold the command key. Oh, sorry about that. We have to get back on this dot. We hit the command key on this dot that we want to create another dot off of, and then we can create a whole another dot off of that. So now we have this swooping path, and we have these two little antlers that we can adjust. And how we do that, we hit option again, and then we can adjust, and then we have to hold option and adjust the curve that we want. So let's have this like steep curve and then hold command and click this dot. So now we want to complete this curve. And as you can see, when you hover over the original square that you made, the first beginning point that you made, you'll get this circle. And what that means is that when you connect this, this is going to complete the whole path so it doesn't have any breaks in it. And see, we created this path, but if we wanted to, if we weren't sure that we wanted to connect it here, we can always go back to this by holding command to select this dot and then making another dot over here. And say that, okay, we only want four points on this. We can hold the command key and place this on top of our original dot and it will complete it for you. And then you can hold the option key and adjust these curves to how you like. And this will be a completed selection as well. So now we have this shape that we are happy with and we want to make it a selection. And to do that you want to go up here and it will show you all these options and it's very simple. It says make selection and it will give you all these options and these are fine. Um, and you want to hit OK. Now you have this beautiful selection that you can put color into, you can put gradient into, you can put an image into, and that's how you do it. And I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you can make all the shapes that you want in Photoshop without any trouble. Thanks for watching.